the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. the big winner tonight at BKFC 38, Renee Whiteboy Rodriguez. Renee, an amazing performance. Break it down for thank us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, Susan, like you know, um, I came to give a show today, but um, I wanted to take my time, see um, fill them out in the first round because um, what I what I was looking at the videos, it was only nine or eight years ago or 11 years ago, so it wasn't no footage really to know about them. So I just did what I needed to do, fill them out, and and play along with it, you know what I'm saying? What was the game plan then? The game plan was to win. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> and 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 um, like I always do, I never come in with a plan because um, I always figure that um, I'm gonna fight my, I'm fighting myself, so I never know what kind of beast I'm gonna be in when the bell rings. So I just have to be prepared for whatever that comes along. If he's rushing me, or he's gonna be a counter fighter, or or fill me out, but um, I can't rush in and let myself get hit, you know. What were some of the holes that you were able to take advantage of? I mean, you knocked him down so many times tonight. Yeah, um, when, like I said, he surprised me because he was he was he was coming consistently and he was faster this time than his other fights. So he surprised me, but I knew that even with his speed, his um, um his speed of his hands wasn't going to be as matching mine because I've been doing this way for too long and and I and I'm 40 and I feel like I'm 25. You know what I'm saying? So, like you saw today, I, I move around quick, and um, I'm, I'm here to stay. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've known you for a long time. I feel like your drop down in a weight class has really reinvigorated you with a passion for bare knuckle, for the combat sports world. Would you not agree, sir? Oh, 100%. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Um, I used to fight in 250, 215, and 185. So now that you know, I left my job and did this full time. One, 165 is, 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 is amazing. And I really, I think I'm more of a the bully than than, than than the opponent. Talk to us a little bit about your stance, because I found it to be so unusual. We look at his. I mean, you really had your fist up there, and what I would call a true boxing defensive stance. Well. Yeah, my dad always taught me that um, boxers are the ones that give hits and I receive hits. So I'm always trying to keep my hands up because, you know, like last time I was fighting Joe, me, Matt, and they always had a reach over me. So if I didn't do that, then he was always going to hit me with a left hook or, or a right. So I just said, flip, and let me just keep my hands up and not get hit so much. Who do you want next? Who I want next is Mike Perry because I, I don't see anybody else, not even the champ of 165. There's no money there. I, I just want the respect, you know what I'm saying? I get more respect by fighting the, the biggest dog, so why not fight the biggest person in the world? You know what I'm saying? At least he's from Orlando, and I'm from Miami, so we should do something like that, Miami versus um, Orlando. I think that would be an amazing matchup. Speaking of the fact that you're from Miami and he's from Orlando, the fans, I mean, we could hear them. What is it like hearing the roar of the crowd as you walk in that into the, to the squared circle and during the fight? How does that affect you? Wow, that's a good question, man. Wow. It's magical because you win or lose, you, anybody that comes along to this, it takes balls and courage and heart. So, you know, when you're out there, you're giving it your all. And when the crowd, when you're hometown and they, they're out there cheering for you, it's magic, man, because not really a lot of people can say that they're chasing their dreams and doing this full time, you know what I'm saying? Win or lose, it's it's a dream that I'm chasing, you know what I'm saying? And I want to prove it to my son that anything is possible, you know what I'm saying? Well, you certainly did create some magic here tonight, Renee Whiteboy Rodriguez. All right, any friends, family, or sponsors you'd like to thank, sir? Yeah, I want to give thanks to my sponsors. First, I want to give thanks to you, Susan. She's been my best friend for years. Um, I want to give thanks to my sponsors, Alpine, um, Studio 60, the after party for today. Um, Studio 60, M Misfits, a Dynamic Wellness. I love you, Louis. Dog. You helped me. This is, hey, if you want to get fit, Talk to my boy, Louis, Dynamic Wellness. Hey, he'll get you right. Tell him that white boy sent you. And um, Black Oil, LLC, thank you, my, my brother, man. I love you. Te quiero. And BKFCA, thank you for having me here, man, because, yo, 
You got the original right here, the original gangster, BKFC right here. White boy, high lead champ with Susan Sagari. <laughs> you already know. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> All right. The original OG is here in the house tonight. We can't look for, wait to see you again back in the squared circle. For Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Sagari, and this is the one and only. White boy, high lead champ. You already know. You can find me on the Instagram, high lead champ. Haciendo salsa y merengue con mi gente. The original Jay.